Hello everybody, blah 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 blah. This is Muntu Valdo. Let's dive in. Um, I've been reading that you can play sort of uh, a myriad of instruments varying from ones that we might be familiar with, like the guitar and piano and harmonica and things, to ones that well, I'm certainly less familiar with, like uh, the the baffalon, baffalon? Uh, balafon. Balafon. Yeah, it's a kind of what? marimba xylophone, but with wood. With I think is is it might be the ancestor of xylophone or marimba or this kind of stuff yeah uh, where's that from west africa or or to africa i think sub-saharan africa yeah very traditional instrument yeah guitar on sort of plast plasterboard and with fish wire um do you do you think that do you then feel that like the the quality of the instrument that you learn on is not necessarily that important because you're obviously quite an accomplished guitarist now and yeah uh, would i say learn at that time i was just playing i didn't even know what i was doing to be fair to be honest you know you just pick an instrument and you play it and um yeah People describe you as an instrument who had plasterboard. I didn't really, really know what it was all about. I just knew know that it was a very, very old instrument who had maybe two or three strings made from Fisher, Fisher-like, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but I think some people say it. Um, the it's not the tool. It's the man behind the tool. You know. <laughs> So the quality of the instrument do doesn't matter that much. Yeah, it could matter, but if you're a good musician, you you're good. You know, you play. If if you can't play, you can't play. No matter the good the instrument is. Do you feel that adds to your to your sound? I'm, I'm assuming it's, is it, or is it just because you prefer playing alone? No, 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 no. It's just because I prefer playing. Alone. Didn't you know, think it was. Mu music is um um, as a musician, I consider myself as um as an artist first. Also, I consider myself as um as an author. You know, as somebody who has to leave something as a creator. You know, like somebody who write a book, mm -hmm. or or create a movie, you know, is so um, um, in that respect is um, when I do albums or do stuff in periods of life is about concept, you know, I just don't play just for pleasure. I could do that, you know, but as a professional and as an artist, as somebody who has something to say. So, so um, now I'm in that phase of my life where I, I had or I needed, I, I had that, um, that desire to 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 bring to the public this new concept that I've developed called the one and the many, 
is also, by the way, the name of my new album. The one and the many. Yeah. Um, where did the, where did the name come come for for that? Um, you know, what does it mean? Yeah, yeah, is is like um, the, the the one and the many is a concept, is a philosophical, metaphysical, and spiritual concept, but who are also have a practical um, side to it. The practical side is what you see um, in the music, but as I say, is also a message especially directed to young people, especially in Africa, to, to show them that uh, actually when you don't have a lot of means or a lot of capital or a lot of people, you know, right people like producers, you can do it, you know. Just, just, you just have to help yourself with a lot of determination. Um, you mm -hmm. use your brain, you look for what you have to do and you can do it, you know. <laughs> Mabo 